It seemed like the only hymn that was being played was I'll Be Home for Christmas. And when he heard that holiday favorite on the radio, stuck in his truck on a remote Idaho road, Paul Melling wasn't sure he'd ever get home alive. But after two days stuck on that rural road with only a piece of candy and melted snow to survive, tonight he's back with his family in West Jordan. Hard to imagine news specialist Jed Bull was there when he got home and joins us live right now. Jed, quite the reunion, I would imagine. Yeah, this is just an incredible story, guys. Paul Myling is known to his friends and family as Papa Paul, and he's very beloved in this community. But after two days, many of them feared the worst. But Paul Myling made it out alive, surviving on a mini Snickers, snow melted in a bottle, and a couple of dangerous fires. <laughs> When Paul Myling's wife, Bonnie, and their family found out he was alive... He's fine. Did he have food? They were going to take him to the hospital, and they said he doesn't need to go. Incredible relief after 36 hours of tremendous fear. That's so amazing. We thought he was gone. <laughs> I'm so bad. The family had turned it over to God. Logically, it just didn't add up or make any sense that he would still be around, and we just, we had to face that. But hearing his voice again, Dad! swept sorrow away. Much to my surprise, I had cell service this morning after I'd walked two miles. Within hours, he was home. Nobody could have known where I went. Monday, Myling took a sightseeing detour off of I-15 after a quick trip to Pocatello. One dumb decision. When the sign says, "Don't probably not winter maintained, you probably shouldn't take it. His pickup truck got stuck near Hawkins Reservoir outside Aramo. Yeah, I got high centered and actually got out of it once. Could be stuck for days. I didn't know if I was going to get out of this or not. Monday night, in drifting snow, he walked to an abandoned farmhouse. I made a fire to stay warm. He returned and built a bigger fire. The person that owns this place is going to wonder about this. <laughs> Did he? Did you burn the house down? It's sir? gone. It's gone? It's gone. Last night, he walked five miles to a second farmhouse where he found what he calls a gift from God. 14 <laughs> pieces of coal. So I built a fire last evening because it was storming up there, and there was just enough coal to blast me through. A gift of Christmas coal. This morning, he hiked east, found cell phone coverage, and called his son. Truly a miracle. Paramedics checked him out, but he was just fine. Aside from being thirsty, hungry, and tired, we just had another chat with him a few minutes ago, and he's feeling really good. But he advises everybody, when you change your travel plans, be sure that you text a loved one. That's a good lesson for all of us. It is, but uh, one of the few times somebody wants coal for Christmas, Jed. Great story. <laughs> exactly. Thanks.